Okay, here we're discussing the ratio of length of similar figures. The, what I know is the ratio of perimeters in similar figures will be equal to the scale factor. So, our scale factor, let's figure out what our scale factor is for this particular, for these similar shapes. These are similar because they are the, the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. But their sides are proportional. So how do I go about finding my scale factor? Using corresponding size, I just want to set up a ratio. So if I go from little to big, scale factor, let's go. Let's put the 2 over the 8. I get a scale factor of 1 4. If I set it up differently and I go, again, using corresponding size, I go from 8 to 2, that's 8 to 2, then I get a scale factor of 4. What the difference is, is 1's a reduction and 1's an enlargement. If I do 1 4, I will be reducing my shape, my figure. If I do 4, then I will be enlarging my figure. So it just depends on what they're asking for. But what I'm telling you is that the perimeter of these two figures will come up with these two scale factors. It'll either be a scale factor of four or a scale factor of one fourth, depending on if I'm going, if I'm enlarging it or if I am reducing it. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to go with the scale factor of four. So when I compare these two perimeters, I will be looking for a scale factor of four. Let's test it out. Okay, so how do I find perimeter? Well, perimeter is just simply adding up all the sides. So I have 2, 2, this is 4, so 2 and 2 is 4, 4 and 4 is 8, 8 and 4 is 12. I know that my perimeter for this rectangle is 12. Well, here I have 16 and 32, 16 and 32 is 48. The perimeter for this figure is 48. Okay, so let's set up our scale factor for perimeter. The perimeter scale factor is 48 over 12. When I divide 48 by 4, I, by 12, I do get an answer of 4. What I know is that my perimeter, my perimeter, the scale factor for my perimeter is going to be the same as my scale factor for a side length. Okay, so let's take this a step further. Let's talk about the ratio of the areas of similar figures compared to one side, okay? What they're saying is that this is the area of similar figures is going to be the scale factor of the side lengths, the scale factor of the side lengths squared. And really, I should have said this. This is the scale factor of the side length. So once I know what the scale factor is of the side lengths, I just simply need to square it to find the area of the larger figure. So let's test this one to see if this is true. So to find area, remember we just simply multiply length times width. So that's 2 times 4. My area is 4. Here, I have 8 times 16, that's 80 and 48, that's 128. That area is 128. Okay, I put area of this particular one was 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, things are corrected now. Okay, so what I'm testing here is to see if my scale factor of the side lengths is squared when I compare my area, my area, the ratio of my areas. Okay, so let's recall that the ratio of my side factors was 8 to 2, if I use corresponding size, which was 4. Okay, 4 is my scale factor. You find your scale factor by finding your side lengths, finding the ratio of your corresponding side lengths. So if this is true, I should be able to square 4 and get 16. That means that I should be able to take my small rectangle times 16 
and get the area of my large rectangle. Remember, the area of my small one was 8. 8 times 16 is 128. So that means that my area, the ratio of my area from the 128 to the 8 was 16. 128 divided by 8 is 16. And that is my ratio, my scale factor squared. 16 is 4 squared. Okay, if I'm going backwards on this, say they gave me the area was 16, I would then, to find what the scale factor was, I would have to square root the 16, and that would take me back to 4. Remember that squaring and square rooting are inverse operations, and that's how you would undo those. Okay, let's go ahead and try a problem like this. Okay, here I have the problem that says, if the area of one square is 1 64th the area of another square, how do the perimeters compare? Well, this 1 64th turns out to be my scale factor, and because it is so small, it's a reduction in size. I'm going to write this as a fraction, 1 64th. So they're saying, what they want us to compare perimeters. What I need to remember is, is that perimeter will be the same as a side length, as far as the ratios will be equal. Because they gave me the area as 164th, that means that they already squared, squared the scale factor. This scale factor has already been squared. What I need to do is undo the square. That means I need to square root 164. So I need to know what the square root of 1 is over the square root of 64. Well, what times what equals 1? Remember, a square root has to be the same number times itself. Well, 1 times 1 is 1. That means the square root of 1 is 1. Here I need the square root of 64, so a number times itself that equals 64. 8 times 8 is 64. The square root of 64 is 8. So how do my perimeters compare? This, the perimeter of this square is 1 eighth the perimeter of this square or this square is 8 times larger than this square, however you want to do it. Again, remember, we're undoing the squared. Because they gave me the area, they had already squared this. To take it back to a side length or to a perimeter, I had to square root it. Okay, we can also do this with volume. The ratio of the volumes of similar figures is going to be your scale factor of the side lengths, or your perimeters, cubed. So what that means is, okay, so the next thing that we have here again, the ratio of the volumes of similar figures is the scale factor of the side lengths or perimeters cubed. Well, first of all, a side length is 3 on this particular cube and 9 on this particular cube. That means I have a scale factor of 3. If I were to compare the perimeters of, let's just do one face. So that would be 12. The perimeter for this particular one would be 12. The perimeter for this particular one would be 36. Well, 36 divided by 12 is 4. Again, remember, not 4, 3, sorry, 3. You have to remember that the side lengths are going to be equal ratios with the proportions. So that's where our scale factor comes into play. Okay, well, what we're comparing, though, is the volume of the two figures. What should happen is, is this volume should be my scale factor, which is 3 cubed. That means 3 to the third power, which is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 27. The volume of this cube should...